yeah. I will pay with an M1101A1 plus four with rounds installed. Oh, no, I won't. I'll play with the M, the, yeah, 50 cents over. There we go. Please fail, please fail, please fail. Fail, fail. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I have enough. <laughs> Random crap to install all this stuff. Nineteen fifty price went up. <laughs> exact same item. Ten minutes later, price has gone up. Oh man. <laughs> I just what what? <laughs> uh, is that what's going on? I got a negotiation debuff. <laughs> uh, let's see what happens again. Now we're up to 20 bucks. Is 20 bucks the base and I was getting a discount earlier? Maybe that's what was going on. Yeah, I know. It's 20 bucks now. It's gone up twice. That's funny. <clears throat> uh, I didn't bring anything else that I feel like selling. It'll make that. Whoa, holy crap, am I cold? I'm gonna kill myself at that temperature. What the hell? Oh, it's my head at negative 51. Uh. <laughs> uh. Right, let's get back outside. This run's gonna end just because of weird temperature differentials. Still at negative 44. Uh. Hmm. Warmth of five isn't quite going to do it. Hoodie would help. It uh, isn't blocked by other things I'm wearing on my head. Let's do that. Let's wait a short bit and see what happens to this temperature. Negative 45 is going to be enough to start doing me some damage here pretty quick. Especially since I don't know where it's coming from. I mean, it's day 74, 6 in the morning, but still. Love it. It's, it's warmer outside than it is inside the vehicle. <laughs> the vehicle that's not running. I don't have air conditioning going or anything. But it's negative 45 inside the vehicle. And it's negative 38 outside the vehicle. Uh, come on, game. Nah, the Exodii aren't hostile by default. None of the Exodii will fire on you or attack you normally. Now, if they get attacked by something and you're in the area, you want to be careful. Just like animals, like if a moose is nearby. In the default game, mooses aren't hostile. But if a moose gets hit by anything, 
it'll instantly go into Berserker Rage and it'll start attacking anything in range. Same thing with the Exodii. Just, uh, just don't hit them. Hmm. All right. Well. My legs are still a little warm, cold. Unless I come outside. Yeah, it's just weird. All right, full and hydrated. So, uh, let's see. It's funny because he will install like the directional EMP. I haven't picked up any ethanol. Yeah, I, I uh, there's just so many things that annoy me about the NPC stuff. Uh, just, I hate the whole interaction system. I hate the whole you can't bank money system. Uh, there's just so many weird things about that stuff. <clears throat> um, I'm trying to decide if I care enough. <laughs> I just honestly don't think I'm going to be getting my... My faction up high enough with these guys to get anything useful installed. Maybe I can get some money out of some AR glasses. We're not using them. I guess I should have been picking up all those uh, light amp goggles and uh, infrared goggles. If I was planning on doing the NPC stuff, I'm just not used to bothering picking any of that stuff up. <laughs> so many MREs. Give him some of the butter. Is it worth anything? <laughs> It'd be funny if it was worth something. Sure, we'll take him a couple of sticks of butter. How about goo canisters? Are goo canisters worth a bunch?
Um, I guess our our stuff went up because now it's everything but the one thing I want to install. What got added? Is this the same list as before? There was more stuff that I had on the list before, right? Um, let's say install that. Oh, I have to do them one at a time. Um, Yeah, it's these variable. Eat these dollar amounts. 185 bucks for three anesthetic kits, huh? It would at least give me change that I could use at his own <laughs> interface. Nine cents for the stick of butter? Yeah, I didn't look. It is. Look at that. Fancy. That is that is that is bullcrap. <laughs> I can sell them my installation data for almost as much as it'll cost to get it installed. That's kind of funny. Sure, you can have that. $2.50. Uh, how does the F1 to auto, auto balance with highlighted item work? To just grab random stuff? Hey, three fifty dollars for my, uh, my goo canister. Sure, you can have it. Three percent. Successfully installed. So I do have a one dollar credit still. So that's good. So I guess I could just hand him something more expensive. How long does he retain that credit balance? Is it listed? Forever? Can I go away for a month and come back and it still lists it? Or is it just in this one conversation section? these anesthetic kits but I don't know if he'll hold that much that much money find out never gonna pay back and be able to pay it back most I'm willing to owe you is a hundred all right well that at least gives me some information to work with gotta keep it within a hundred bucks huh um I don't have enough other stuff with me right now
Let's cancel. Hmm. Yeah, I can't do multiples. Wish I could pick like all of them at once and then negotiate the price and then go through the installation processes with an option to stop whenever I chose in between each one. That would be a lot simpler. Oh, did it disappear my, uh, my, my option again? Yep, it disappeared it again, didn't it? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, oh, never mind. I was looking for my joint torsion. <laughs> Don't mind me. What was I trying to install just now? I forgot. Screw it. I'm just going to uh, let them have this. I don't care about the differential. Well, yes, but I still end up losing the difference because he'll only accept a $100 debt. So I'm losing, I lost 66 bucks on that trade. Now when I talk to him, he'll be at 100. So that's, that's the only thing I was hemming and hawing about. But now I could do five more installations without having to deal with it. I was just trying to make a decision in my head whether I wanted to go back and gather up more crap, haul it over here and try to sell it to him to get the credit number up. Um, <clears throat> yeah, what the hell? Let's go for it. Hopefully, we'll do enough that uh, our faction will raise and I'll be able to install the one I actually came here to install, the only one I cared about. Hey, look at that. Yay. 8%. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Come on. This is the one and only one I cared about when we came over here. Everything else was blah. Roll them bones successfully installed. All right, that should be a pretty helpful. Passive subdermal carbon filament. <clears throat> Leg alloy, leg alloy plating. So we're going to be slowed down. Especially if I activate joint torsion ratchet. But we have some power storage. We've got some power gen. With the, al uh, the, the leg. A joint torsion ratchet. I wasn't picking any of this stuff up. Maybe we'll go back to the research facility. And go hit the uh, 
hit the warehouse again real quick. There might be some ethanol I can grab up out of the warehouse loot that I passed up earlier. And we can also do it off the cable charger system. I don't think I picked up any jumper cables anywhere either. Okay. Go cranial flashlight, go. This is a head surgery. If we fail one of these head surgery one percenters. <laughs> That'd be funny. Funny, funny, funny. Uh, we'll go directional EMP. Is that the last one I can do that I had the money for? Have I done a social... Done... Ever tried a social NPC playthrough? No. Nope. You'd have to go back uh, about four years of videos of mine in Cataclysm to find me interacting with NPCs in any appreciable way. I've been on an NPC strike <laughs> for about that long a time. I've been killed so many times by my own NPCs, either them directly killing me or me dying because they're just total suicide monkey insane idiots. And trying to keep them alive has gotten me killed so many times. The menu system to interact with them drives me buggers, bananas. Uh, there's just so many, so many issues and problems with them. I just cannot bring myself to use them in any way. I've tried many times and I get grumpy about five minutes after I start interacting with them. Plus, my survivability factor, me alone, is way higher than me with NPCs. Way higher. Ridiculously higher. <laughs> I am much, much better on my own than I am dragging around NPCs. So, yeah. No. You're, you're not going to find any social NPC playthroughs of mine. I haven't done any of the faction camp stuff. I'm not going to do videos on the faction camp stuff. I don't hate myself enough to dive into that rat hole. You guys that enjoy that kind of stuff, great, go for it, have fun. But uh, I won't be doing anything with it. I've been awaiting for a very long time, a long promised but not yet delivered total overhaul of the NPC system, the whole schema. And uh, till that arrives, I have very, very little to no interest. I'll, I'll interact with them when they force me to, like this now, where I, I don't have any real choice uh, if I want to do CBM stuff. But beyond that, no thank you. We're doing an exception this time, kind of to show it off, because I think a lot of people haven't seen it yet still in the general Cataclysm community, those that aren't heavily dialed into the game development. Um, and also just because of the weird nature of this challenge, with me not being able to read, craft, or heal, uh, I need to have other ways of trying to uh, advance the character in some, some direction to make it survivable. And even with this stuff, it's still very, very questionable when we head into the... Uh, the the lab area that we're going to need to go into. You can still do manual installation of CBMs at Autodocs. And there, there are ways to do that, but this character has no chance of actually accomplishing that because... We can't level, really, the skills that are needed to uh, to do those installations. So our likelihood of installing anything successfully is abysmal, and I just end up killing myself. But that's going to go away, so there's no point, really, in learning that process at this stage. Just go to the go to Rubick here and do it through Rubick. Way easier, way safer. But yeah, this character can't do the alternative method, period, so... There's just no way I was going to risk that. I think we're out of money, right? Uh, we're going to cancel that. Yeah, we're out of money. All right. I don't think I'm going to bother with the, um, the power armor interface because it's only in one place. It's got a small chance to spawn there, and I'm not likely, A, to get to it, or B, to be lucky enough to have the spawn occur, even if I did get there. So I'm not going to bother with that one. Should we get a hold of power armor, we'll we'll drive back, <laughs> and we'll get it installed then. But uh, till then, it's not really worth it. All right, I think we're done here. I can't uh, I can't make their, their, their stuff, so giving them money to buy this doesn't help me because I can't read the blueprints. 
Uh, and I can't craft, so I can't put the, the, the armor together. Uh, I've already got a thousand or so, 1100 rounds. I've lost track of how many rounds of 8x40, so I'm not really caring about their, their weaponry. Um, don't need gambesons or cataphract leggings or Corinthian helms. So yeah, I think we are done here. Hey, what is it? It's like a period of time has to go by and then they restock their inventory. Something like that. Somebody who does this more will have to answer in chat. I think there's been some chatter about it already that I that rolled through. Um, <laughs> yeah, last time I came through, he wouldn't let you have any kind of a credit. So that was one of the big things that annoyed me is there was no credit. And it was a real big hassle. Get more welding tanks. Um... I don't think we're going to need the welding tank if we find the right lab that I'm, I need to get to for the activity suit. I should be able to go right for the activity suit without having to go through any doors. I might need or want to go through some doors, uh, possibly. But I've still got, I think, one tank left, so four uses. And we might be able to pick some, else, some others up in between now and when we actually head into that place. So... So, buying that for the 20 bucks, eh, I, I might be willing to do that. Beyond that, I'm not going to care. So, give them, what, two grenades and the M4? I think it needs just slightly more than that. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm carrying enough random stuff. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. We know where it is should we need to come back and get it. Yeah, does anybody know the uh, the time frame on the restock for uh, for Rubik? We've advanced our, our trading faction with him a bit with all the money and, and stuff we've done. So I'm curious. A week? So I'll have to remember it's day 74, so day 81 theoretically. I don't know if it's a calendar week or actual a literal seven days. I don't know if he, he restocks on particular days or if it's you trade with him and then one week later he gets new stuff. <laughs> that, that seems a little weird if it was under that system. Okay, let's have some more bread. I guess I will have a, a little bit of butter with my bread. It's all going to go bad. I'm going to have <laughs> 300 things of butter go bad on me here, not too distant future. I'm going to be sad. Big time sad. Melvin's going to be dead by then. Eh, it could be. Very well could be. We have 337 jewels of power. Yeah, let's take a look at a few things. So, temp-wise, we're running a little warm on the torso. We're gaining power because torsion ratchet? Torsion ratchet's off. How am I gaining powder? power right now? Why am I gaining power? Off, off, off. Why am I gaining power? <laughs> what? Um, 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 I'm only gaining power when I move, so that would be the joint torsion, wouldn't it? I'm gaining power when I stand still. I'm confused. If I flip it on, then I gain big time power. Now we've maxed out our current power capacity. How did I get to a thousand? Oops. One point two. Oh, these numbers always confuse the hell out of me. I don't, I don't understand what this means. Huh. No, I think it's the joint torsion. I think it's just power or uh, powered or unpowered or difference. Slowly generate power when you move. While this is toggled, moving will require more effort, though. Okay, so yeah, that's that's it exactly. Joint torsion gives you small power regen. 
Um, anytime you move, period, toggle it on, and uh, you put more effort in, and you get a lot more power. That's fine. What's my movement cost now? 90, speed 96, encumbrance. Oops. Yeah, not too bad. We flip it on to regen powder power. Ninety one? Really? Alright, whatever. <laughs> I don't see a difference. Maybe it's because I've already maxed out the power, so it's not actually activating. All right, so that'll work. So that gets us a little bit of power. Uh, so I don't really need... We'll grab a... Um, I don't think I've already grabbed one. A... Uh, jumper cable. Yeah, no jumper cable. Oh yeah, the AR glasses. Didn't notice if uh, those were worth anything or not. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> Excuse me? What did you guys put and rename that? Oh, my Asapi vest. That's right. My moist towelette. <laughs> oh. Okay, I think that gets my inventory back down where I want it. Um, let's reload the Ruger. But what amazing abilities have we, we, we've given ourselves? The cranial flashlight, so I guess I could get rid of my, my headlamp now. And that's about it. A directional EMP in case we run into more robots. And some protection. All right. So, what's next? Um, nothing down here. I'm done moving south for now. We've already grabbed the ID card from that hazardous waste sarcophagus. Oh yeah, let's go back up to the research facility and hit the uh, hit the warehouse real quick. See if we can get some methanol, ethanol, or uh, the alcohol. Okay. Oh my goodness! You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> the lone F again. We have a second air vent. Really conveniently placed. All right, so now we've got one right here in the middle of all the fancy stuff to go along with the one we were going to head back to right up here. We shall return.
People are getting back up or wandering around. Hmm. care how much noise I make. Well. Anybody else want to come out? One more still in there somewhere. Not likely to get anybody from that direction. They'll fall into the pit, so that's good. Let's throw on the electric glow in the dark peepers. Ah, shag zambi. Um, let's not do. Let's see, I really want to kill the shag zambi first. Probably gonna hit an intermediate one. Yep, did not hit the shock zombie. Now the problem is they're gonna spot me. We're gonna we're gonna pray there's nobody north of me. Hopefully these are all new. They're dropping loot. That'd be great if we get uh, get a panacea out of one of these guys. Close, not quite. Eruption stimulant again. worth cash. What are we after? Um, none of that stuff. Samples. Wonder how much they would buy samples for. Wrong kinds of chemicals. Let's 
Unfortunately, I think it's the upstairs lab areas that have the uh, bottles of ethanol, methanol, and such. Looking like there isn't going to be any down here. Oh, bottle of ethanol. Cool. Yeah, looks like that's it. much it uses. Power is 3k now? Thought we stopped regening power. Another AR-15. Alright, what the hell. Where are you guys coming from? I need to look around that corner before I start smashing. More? That's it, finally. Cool. Uh, I see no panaceas. They're mad scientists and two more scientists on the way. They're gonna fall. No, oh, crap. Run. I want to get around the edge before they fall in. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Um, that's fine. Up here. protocol necromancer necromancer hmm everybody's good in pulp so it doesn't matter uh yeah I better get out and deal with him How far away is he have to be? Come to me, Mr. Necro.
We're just gonna do a quick check. Some of the uh, some of the rooms up here. See if they have fairly easy to get to amounts of uh, ether. Oops. I can't remember how uh, easily or often it shows up. Denatured alcohol, ethanol. So that's the room we want to look for. The one with the refrigerators. I do remember there being some somewhere. Uh, I really don't want to look into too many more of these rooms. Still quantity one, still liquid ammonia one. think I'm gonna look any further we've got enough for now we'll be in the area for quite a bit we can come back if we need to think about this we got an air vent real close um i'm not sure there's a reason not to just pop into it and see what happens so we're looking for a very specific kind of underground laboratory in order to make a run for the activity suit The easiest way I know to find that laboratory is via these air vent access points.
Yeah, we're at 6.6 .6 out of 400. So it's going to keep going up for a while. Let's try the ethanol burner and see what happens. So... Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to remember... Not done through that menu anymore. Um, well, fuel savings, refueling menu. That's what we need. Refueling menu. All right, so that answers the question right there. That is, yeah. So my max capacity is 400. So that is most of my capacity out of just that one denatured alcohol. We'll grab that. And then we'll check our system here. So we're at uh, 390 out of 400 capacity. We're fueling up with. So now we can turn it on. And if we also activate our joint torsion. And then we move. We can see it jumping way up really fast. All right, we're maxed out basically. We barely used any of the alcohol. It kicked off automatically. All right. Thanks very much, Raw King. Yeah, I wish we had some more useful um, CBMs that we could take advantage of. Currently, it's just passive protection from the plating and the carbon filament as well as the directional EMP, which will be handy if we run into any of the um, the, the skeeter bots and uh, taser hacks and things like that. <clears throat> Not to mention turrets and all that, but um, there shouldn't be as many of those, I don't think, depending on the lab style we find here. Yeah, Necros are pretty fun in the right circumstances. They're not tough individually and when you're prepped for them like that circumstance. But if it's early game and you're playing with like advanced evolution world settings and all that, and you get uh, you get multiple Necros with like a Hulk or some other kind of nasties involved, and you kill one Necro and the other Necro raises the first Necro, <laughs> and then you're trying to kill the Hulk or whatever else that's around, but you've got two Necros that trade off resing them, that's where it can get pretty bad. All right, let's take a look here. Um, I don't plan on looting much, so I'm not too worried about my, my weight. I do want to keep my weight low enough that if I lose strength, which I need to take some more cough syrup, if I lose strength, then... Uh, all right. Actually, I think that's... Five. I don't really have as much cough syrup as I thought I did. I might have about 20 doses, I think. It should be fine for now. Um, yeah, but I want to get my weight down a little bit, so let's see what we can we can strip off here. Um, I want to keep my basic carry. Oops, attack fest is empty again. Bad attack fest, bad. Oh, I'm in the drop menu too. Uh, two grenades is fine. That's emergencies. Don't really need the hunting knife. Continue to leave the tools behind.
All right, 82. That'll work. Got, uh, what? Oh, need a 10 round magazine. That's funny. So many 250 around, 250 round drums, 500 drums that, uh, but I don't have 8x40, 50 round drums. Oops. What the hell did I just pick up? All right, we're going to continue not to worry about the bow going into this kind of environment. Um, so I've got 100 rounds. Yeah, we're going to need boy, more 8x40 loose. Let's unload uh, that. And that. All right, so that gets me 200. We'll go with that for the moment. 